many people can agree with me. They have had a few bad moments in their childhood that they wish to forget. Unfortunately, it's, it's these it's these things that are so easily burned into people's mo- memories. Have you ever had a time in your life where you re- re- tried to remember the good things in the past, only remember something embarrassing or shameful? Sometimes people go. F- sometimes people go for years f- without even thinking about anything of it. That is until they find something that triggers that particular memory that never wanted to come back, though, back to. And we become feelings of nausea and paranoia. That is what happened to me. On this particular day, it was raining. We would walk down the street to see pedestrians taking shelter under bus stops or in thick coats, holding an umbrella. I myself was holding one, frustrated by countless strong winds blowing it back. I was joined on the marketplace looking for some cheap groceries. I wanted to get home as quickly as the weather wasn't the best. As I was bagging some goods, I turned my head to see a table covered with old stuff. Taking a closer look, I could see it had boxes filled with VHS tapes lined up on their sides. Most of them were rather old children's shows such as Bob the Builder and Thomas the Friends. None of them looked pirated. <laughs> to be honest, one video case I saw was labeled Teletubbies. I know I'm uh, too old to be interested, but for some re- some strange reason, I had the urge to buy it. I picked up the case to look at it, when I saw maybe jump slightly. I saw the image of a bear. As briefly mentioned, some things really bring back bad memories. Almost instantly. As soon as I saw that bear, I so many things had gone to my mind. Horrible things. Things I just can't even get myself to say. These spots made me really shaky and nauseated. Despite my feelings, I gave the cashier's money and put it in a bag with all my other things. I looked back up, but the cashier just smiled at me. Not a not have a nice day smile, but more of a I'm glad you bought it smile. I didn't smile back. I just walked away, trying to get to my car. As I drove home, I, all I could think about was that bear. I would go on to one thought that just end up thinking of it again. Each time bringing that sudden feeling you know, fear. When I got home at about 6 p.m., I put a tape on the side to the side of, while I sort my, my food out. Once I was finished, I knew that the only thing I could do was watch the tape. After setting up my old VHS recorder, I started and stared at the tape again. This time I noticed features that I previously gave no attention to. There were no company logos or symbols on the case, no information on the back. I opened the case to see the tape had nothing on it but the word seesaw or in a black marker. I rushed to put the tape in, hoping to get it over and done with. I saw the tape was almost halfway through, so I rewound it to the beginning. When it was done, I pressed play to see that I was nothing but black. I fast forwarded the tape until it was in the same place before, at least it was before I rewinded it. Strangely, this was right before the images appeared on screen. I grabbed a kitchen and placed it in the front of the television. I sat down, pressed the play button. What well, was clear that the opening for Teletubbies had begun, with youth music playing quietly, the music was filled with static noise and a high frequency buzzing. I noticed that it might must have been cut. Skipping the sun baby and the logo, I couldn't help but notice that the image had a horrible quality as it appears that the tape was decades old. The image was shaky and had a layer of static that constantly fuzzed. The color was also really bland and gray, as Teletubbies ran down the hill. The footage then cut to them staring at the camera. It cut to an, it cut to again into a view and of an empty field of small hills. The music stopped suddenly. Suddenly, an image of the seesaw flashed on the screen, with a little boy on each side moving it up and down. The field then came back into view. The only thing I could hear now was that buzzing. A small figure appeared in the distance of the field. The buzzing noise became louder. The seesaw image flashed on screen again. The buzzing momentarily silences as the echoey voice of a elderly woman could be heard slowly getting louder. The image flashed again. The screen slowly zoomed into the distant objects as the buzzing noise came back. The one slowly, slowly echoed, I'm coming. I'm coming. A high-pitched screech was audible as it slowly zoomed. 
A face briefly flashed on the screen. Things started to get tense. At this point, I was too afraid to turn the volume down. I'm coming. I'm coming to get you. I looked behind me and quickly looked back. As the screeching became louder, the more sad could be heard. Running images and children flashed on the screen every few seconds. As the camera finally zoomed in until the figure filled the screen. I am the bear, and I am coming. The horrific sound of children crying could be heard. The camera began to zoom on the, into the bear's face as the seesaw flashed on screen again. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming to get you. The image flashed on screen again. The seesaw had stopped, and the children were just staring blankly at each other. The camera finally zoomed into the full view of the bear's face. Its mouth moved up and down as it echoed. I'm coming. I'm coming to get you. And I'll get you. The bear's eyes began to spin around. The image flashed on screen. And now a blood-covered seesaw appeared. I was surrounded by what appeared to be two human remains. Two dead bodies of young children appeared out of nowhere, caused the seesaw to slowly move up and down. They were just laying there, their clothes soaked in blood. The sound finally stopped, and I sat and stared at this image for a minute before it went to black. Needless to say, after that minute had passed, I really gravitated about the machine and threw in the bin along with the case. That night, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't stop thinking about what I saw. I just really checked my windows. This couldn't have lasted all night, is when, it, is when I sat down and tried to calm myself. I must have finally fell asleep. The next morning, I had work and I needed to finish my laptop. As I was checking my emails, I stared at my desktop background. It was a photo of me and my friend in a small in a field. I saw a small figure on it, and I don't remember being there before. I found the original image of my files and zoomed in on it. It was the bear.